glacier country. It's the oldest glacier on Earth. Do you remember the ice monster we saw? Uh-uh, I don't want to hear that nonsense. You know that monsters don't exist. Yes, they do. There was a terrible monster there. It woke us up. It was a bear. That's right. It kept yelling loudly. It was scary. It was a bear. Look, I was chief of the expedition, so I'm the one who gets to tell the story. Anyone seen my scarf? Remember to pack extra sweaters, everybody. I'll bet it gets really cold up in Glacier Mountain. My! Uh -huh. There's a lot to bring on an expedition. This is really exciting. I've been dreaming of visiting Glacier Mountain to retrace the steps of my hero, the great explorer Lippus Lapini. This is the best present Daddy has ever given me. Yeah, a birthday present for you that we all get to enjoy. Besides, you've been talking about that glacier for a long time. I sure hope it doesn't get too cold there, because I wouldn't want Dolly to get sick. Uh, I hope we get to see some penguins. I made a promise to Pimpernel I'd bring back uh, uh, a picture of one. Whoa. Oh dear, oh dear. And what about me? Has anyone thought about me? What will I do with myself all week without my five little <laughs> darlings? Don't worry, Elsinia. One week isn't long at all, and Daddy will be with us, so we'll be safe and sound. Excuse me. What am I, chopped liver? Grumps! Are you coming with us? Mm -hmm. Hooray! <laughs> trying to savor every moment, and I want to return home with something which proves I was here in this magnificent country. A memento, a souvenir. I haven't yet found it. But my journey has only just begun. Hey, huh? if you don't come and help, you'll have to sleep outside, Poppy. Poppy, it's good to keep a record in your travel diary, but when you're on an expedition, everybody has to lend a paw. Well, it's about time. <laughs> huh? Dolly and I won't be able to sleep in there. Our feet are already frozen. It's called an igloo, and it's very warm inside. Here's some advice. Do what Lippis did. Just tell yourself over and over that you're hot. <laughs> the wind's too cold. Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. We'll have a hot dinner and go straight to bed. Let's eat! I'm starving! 
to the beach next time. <laughs> ah, very funny. Listen, smart guy, when you know as much as I do about this place, and when you can... Huh? Oh. Huh? What was that? It sounded like a monster. Yes, it did. A glacier <laughs> monster. That's ridiculous. If there was a monster here, Lippus would have mentioned it in his travel logs. No, it's just the wind. Really? You think so? Yes, now go to sleep. I know everything about Glacier Country. Didn't you hear it, Daddy? It was so loud, we were really scared. It was a monster. He almost ate us. Jumping gee willikers. I'm sure it was your imaginations playing a trick on you kids. Monsters don't exist back home and they don't exist here either. It's going to snow today, kids. Keep under the blankets so you stay dry. Periwinkle dandelion, let's go. Ready, set, go. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Two, <laughs> one again. <laughs> huh? Hey, Dandelion! Hey, where are you? We weren't supposed to play hide and seek, so where are you? I said, where are you? Hmm? It's Dandelion. Oh. <gasps> Dandelion, rules here are no different than at home. You must never go off without telling us. Where's Periwinkle? I don't know. He's hiding. Will you help me find him? Periwinkle! Periwinkle, where are you? Periwinkle! No, don't go far. You'll never find your way back. We need to be very careful. Stay here and take care of your brothers and sister. And please, stay in the igloo. It's too dangerous outside. Be careful out there, Daddy. We'll wait for you right here. We'll be good, we promise. And I promise to find Periwinkle and bring him back. Oh, Mr. Daddy. Where am I? Huh? No! Oh. My Ollie. My little bear. I found you. Uh, now why did you go and stray so far from home? Ollie? But Shh. I'm not. Yes, I know. You've been through a terrible fright, my little one. Uh, uh, You're much too young to wander off like that. But Mama is here now. Periwinkle! Periwinkle! Please answer me if you hear me! Huh? Bramble, look! This is Periwinkle's scarf. Let's follow his tracks. But these look like the footprints. Of a bear. Let's follow. Oh, you've gotten so skinny. You haven't eaten for days. Your jammies are way too big for you, you poor huh? thing. I have a lovely fish by Simple. This is happening right up. But I'm Mama was so worried about you, Ollie. When you got lost, I looked all over Glacier Mountain for you. I howled so loudly, I must have kept everyone awake for miles. There's been a mistake. My name isn't 
Ollie, I am Periwinkle. You're not eating. <laughs> You're a funny one. It's not nice to tease your dear old mother. Oh, I'm so glad you're home. Oh, Daddy should have let me go with him. I know I could have helped them. I'm the leader of this expedition, after all. You're walking around in circles. You're making us dizzy. Dolly's hungry, so am I. There's nothing to eat. Daddy and Grumps put the supplies in the sled. I say Poppy should get us some food since he's the leader. Hey, we're hungry. Well, I would, but it's too stormy out there. Just do what Lippis did. When he got really hungry, he kept telling himself he wasn't hungry at all. Huh? Hmm. Then I guess I'll have to go. I'm coming with you, sis. Don't you move. In five minutes, your dolly's tummy will be nice and full. Wow, you guys are tying yourselves together just like real explorers would. I'm impressed. Way to go. Lippis would be very proud of you. Ugh, it's cold out there. That's okay. Just tell yourself that you're not cold at all. <laughs> I'm not cold at all. I'm not cold at all. I'm not cold. They're back. Yum, I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Hello. My name is Taboo, and he's <laughs> Lilyboo. We're sorry to barge in on you, but we saw your Boy. sled. Oh, wow, this is amazing! Sedentary ovipars of the glacier range! They're over what? They're penguins, Dandelion. They're birds that can't fly. Wow! Penguins are very rare, too. Very, very rare. Um, we're not that rare. There are actually lots of us in this part of the world. Me, Poppy, expedition leader. Me very pleased to meet you because Lippis wrote about you. Lippis, you know who he was? He come here often. Tabu, why is he speaking like that? Penguins, dandelion. Here, take a picture of us. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese. Dandelion, do you realize Lippis and I are the only explorers to bring back pictures of penguins? This is so great. Uh, but there is another thing I could take back. My glacier souvenir. I brought the carrot cakes. Dandelion loves them. Huh? And from that day on, the little bear family lived happily ever after, and they never saw that terrible snow wolf ever again. Now it's time for you to get some rest, little one. Uh, oh no, we've got visitors. I'm going to tell them they're not invited. Periwinkle! Periwinkle, where are you? Daddy! Grumps! Here I am! The footprints stop here. If the bear brought Periwinkle here, then he may be inside. He's here all right. Look at the window over there. Periwinkle, am I ever glad to see you. Move away from huh? there. There's nothing to steal here. Go back to where you came from. Don't get ah! upset, ma'am. We aren't thieves. However, there is something, or rather someone in your house, that we want. Ah! I thought I told you to go away. No, wait. No, Let Daddy. Be careful. They don't ever come back. Never get in the way of a mother and her cub. For some reason, that mama bear thinks that Periwinkle is her own little cub. We'll have to distract her to go in and get him. That flag means it's a shelter. Come on! Oh, those long ears are fast on their feet. Mm. If I ever see that one with the spectacles around here again, I shall jolly well tweak his tail. It feels... Like we're in someone's mouth. Someone with huge teeth. Dandelion, those are stalagmites and stalactites. 
good. I still have it. Poppy, did you pluck a feather from off of one of those penguins? No wonder they were so angry. Yeah, but I don't see why. Now I have something to prove I saw one. Lippus never managed to get one. Yeah, well, I think you've got feathers for brains. Give it back. I'm going to glue it in my travel log. Give it back. Let go. You guys? What's wrong with you? Why would you steal a feather from a penguin? You're supposed to love and respect nature. You're not supposed to destroy it. That's not what explorers do. And you think you're so good? Lippus says this, Lippus says that, saying you know this place like the back of your hand? Oh, brother, you can't even stay outside for a few minutes without freezing. Fine, then. If you don't want my help, then you can manage on your own. I don't have time for beginners like you. I came here on an expedition. I'm my out of there get used to it all the great explorers work really hard <laughs> hold on tight ollie that's it are you ready <laughs> i'm almost yeah. there <laughs> come on we'll take you home <laughs> get off my land professor ollie no this is it this is my house huh? <laughs> journey back to the camp. Periwinkle, I hope I didn't scare you in any way. You're a sweet little bunny. Mm. It's time for us to go. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Ollie. Ollie. Goodbye, my friends. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, I don't know why, but I'm kind of sorry to be leaving. Mostly I'm sad to say goodbye to Ollie's mother. Why? Are you gonna miss her fish broth? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll miss her hugs. A mom's hugs are soft and warm. 
there's one thing I know about what happened today, and that's that your mother would be very proud of you. And speaking of warm, your dear Aunt Zinnia's loving arms will be waiting to welcome us all home. And if I know her, your dear Aunt Zinnia misses you a lot. Well, then I say she won't be missing us for long because we're going home. No more ice, no more cold, no more igloos. Lippus the Explorer was crazy to stay here all those years. Yeah, you're right. You have to be feather brain for that. Oh, no! Your penguin feather. Oh. I left it in the cave. What's that? Hold on a second, you kids. Don't tell me. You didn't take a feather off of a penguin. You know, Poppy, you're right. You will take something home from your trip. Something more precious than an object, a feather, or a picture. And that's a little bit of respect. Lippus forgot to mention something important in his traveling book. Always respect the local people and customs. <laughs> Come on! Last one there's a rotten egg! <laughs> you don't stand a chance before a rover comes to the very seal! Come on! Hurry! Mommy, there is a bit of respect if Ozzy has to bring back heavy. Because our sled is already overloaded, you know. <laughs> what? What'd I say? Those rabbits didn't fit in very well around here. You're right, Lily Boo. Good riddance, I say.